Hi, welcome to SolveAndGo.com. This next video is the first example of a, a question about forced vibrations. And so we're given an initial value problem, which I'll write down. We have, um, so we're asked to find this, the, the solution to the initial value problem. So solve the initial value problem given as u double prime plus u equals f of t u zero equals zero u prime of zero equals zero where f of t is some varying force okay which is f zero t when t is between zero and pi f0 times 2 pi minus t when t is between pi and 2 pi and is 0 for t bigger than 2 pi okay so we're trying to find a solution to the initial value problem um, so such that, so we're going to put an extra restriction on here, um, such that u and u prime are continuous. So what's going to happen here? We have um, a piecewise defined function, which means we have really three different differential equations on different intervals. So we plug three different things on the right hand side. We're going to solve each, and those are going to give us some constants. Um, so we can solve, so for the first set of constants, so from 0 to pi, we can solve for those using the initial data given here. But next we'll have another solution involving new constants on, say, pi to 2 pi. To solve for those constants, we don't have any initial data, but we know from the solution on the interval from 0 to pi what the value of the solution should be at the end point of this interval 0 to pi which is the um, beginning of this interval from pi to 2 pi we know what it should be because we want u and u prime to be continuous okay so this requirement that u and u prime are continuous is going to allow us to solve for um, the constants that come up in the solution okay so we'll see that Okay, um, so first let me give you the solutions and then we'll solve for the constants. Okay, so um, let's see what we have. So if you don't have that equation, you can, you can write it down. I'll be giving it to you piece by piece. Um, so we have the first interval, u double prime plus u equals f0 of t on the interval from 0 to pi. Okay, so the homogeneous solution to this, so this is the homogeneous equation. Well, it has roots r equals plus or minus root, uh, sorry, i. Um, so r is plus or minus i, uh, which means the general solution looks like y. Sorry, not the general solution, the homogeneous solution. Uh, the homogene y homogeneous, or we'll call it u, I guess, in this example. So u homogeneous equals uh, c1 cos t plus c2 sine t. Um, and that's it, okay? Because we got the, uh, the roots here as plus or minus i. Okay, um, so what about a particular solution? So the particular solution you could use, um, so this is sort of a, a simple um, case of uh, uh, undetermined coefficients. Okay, f0 is some constant. So on the right-hand side, we have a constant times t. Uh, because of the form of the left-hand side, it's particularly simple, you can just see that the particular solution is going to be f0t itself because its second derivative is going to be 0 and then we're going to add the function to 
zero, so you of course you get f of zero of t back. Okay, so this is the particular solution we'll call big Y of t, or what maybe big U in this case. Okay, or I'll, maybe I'll call it U P for particular. Okay, um, so that means the general solution is given by. u of t is c1 cos t plus c2 sine t plus the particular solution, which was f0 t. OK. Um, so that's the solution on, on that interval there. All right. Um, so let's look at the next interval. So from pi to 2 pi. Okay, we're told that the equation looks like this. Okay. Um, so again, this is just the case of. Uh, uh, well, okay, the homogeneous solution doesn't change. Okay, it's the same on all of these intervals. C one cos. Um, so let's use. Um, so it's, we don't want to use C1 again. We just use those. Uh, so let me call it C1 prime cos t plus C2 prime. Uh, let me call them D because prime suggests uh, prime suggests derivative. Okay, so D1 cos t plus D2 sine t, and then again a particular solution for this right hand side here. Um, this is f0 times 2 pi minus t. So when you take the second derivative, because it's a degree 1 polynomial, this is going to be 0. zero. So, so w double, double pi zero, zero, zero if we set the particular solution equal to this right, right hand side. side. And then we're just, and we're just adding, adding that function to 0. So we get the function back. So that serves as a particular solution. OK, so if you need to confirm this, it's, it's easy to check. OK, check that f0 times 2 pi minus t indeed solves u double prime plus u equals f0 times 2 pi minus t. Okay, and you'll see, you'll see what I mean. Okay, um, so that's the homogeneous solution on uh, that interval there. And then finally, when t is bigger than 2 pi, we have that this is equal to 0. So there's no force on the right-hand side. OK, and then this is just the homogeneous solution. Again, we're going to need new constants. Um, I'm going to avoid using e because it's the exponential. Let's say f1 cos, so this is u, f1 cos t plus f2 sine t. And that's it. There's no need to get a particular solution because this equation is homogeneous on that interval. OK. So let me let me write up the equation here. So we get a piecewise solution to our piecewise differential equation, and it is um, c1 cos t plus c2 sine t plus f0 t for t between 0 and pi. Between pi and 2 pi, we have d1 cos t plus d2 sine t plus uh, 2 pi minus uh, f0 times 2 pi minus t. So this is on the interval from pi to 2 pi. And then finally, we have this a little bigger. Uh, we get f1 cos t plus f2 sine t on the interval t is bigger than 2 pi. Okay, so that's it.